Hey, what's up guys? I'm the Fox with you in my first tour on the Ada Boom channel. Here's this channel. And that's my channel. Make sure you check my awesome speed orders. So there you go. That's my Behance portfolio. Make sure you check it also. So, today we are going to be making um, just like a flat animation of a logo I made. So, FD. Alright, I'm going to show it to you. There's the logo. So we are going to just make it two slots and just goes off in an epic flat way. So let's watch it out. Alright. It goes off. We're going to stop at this point because I'm not going to be able to make um, some rotations keyframes because that's going to be a little bit hard and I really want to make it a quick, a very quick tutorial in this. Um, just two slides are going to are going to get too much time with me with Photoshop and things like that. So let's start this up. Let's make a new and new project. New project. All right, here we go. I'm not really gonna save that. Okay, first thing you have to do is clicking on this very little icon right here and have an info saying create a new composition. Just make sure you click on it. Alright, make sure it's set to HD frame rate. You can set this wherever you want. Just make sure it's 30 or 23. 30 is the right number. Okay, the duration is going to be. Let's just. Set it like that and we can change it later. The background color can be used to white. Alright, okay. So um now I'm going to import some a picture, the PNG picture of my logo. Uh click on control plus I to import something. In After Effects it's uh, really it's completely different. It's not just like Photoshop. You click on Control plus O, and you open up um, the PSD file or an image or whatever you want. In uh, After Effects, when you click on Control plus O, it's gonna open um, basically uh, an After Effects project. But when you click on Control plus E plus I, I mean, I'm sorry, you just open up any folder you want. Um, I forgot where did I put this. This is not these or something. All right, here you go. So now I'm going to open up my PNG file of this logo. Make sure it's PNG. You just have this logo. You don't have any white background or colorful background. You just have logo. All right. Let's drag this into our into our composition. Okay. So the first thing we are going to do is make it smaller. Yep. You just uh, how to ma you make it smaller in the best way without just messing it around like that. Uh, what you have to do is click on this point and hold Shift plus Alt and you make it small or bigger as you want. Well, I'm going to make it that small. little bit bigger all right if you want to just put it in the center um there's some ways for that you just go to this icon right here and click on title slash action save um let's check this again there we go that's in the middle let's hide it okay we just made sure that it's in the middle of the frame. So next thing we are going to do is keyframing it. Well, what's keyframing? Keyframing is just like you put it in that way and you put it again in that way in a different time. In After Effects, going to just make an, an animation automatically. So let's click on this arrow right here. Just and then transform. Um, there you go. Just 
just place it whenever we want. So, so let's just take it for, to the place where we want the logo to show. Want it to show from here and get to the middle. Okay, let's place it here. And then you have it this position. We want to change its position. Alright? You just click in this clock right here. And you see a point here. Make sure it's in the beginning. Oh, I made a mistake. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, guys. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's go back. Drag it here. And then go ahead to this arrow. Arrow of transform again. Click in position. And then let's um make this path here smaller. Alright. Um a little bit more. There you go. Now you'll have to just drag it. And you're gonna see this point right here in this line right here moving. It means that it's gonna be animated. Okay. See that? So this is called key framing. You put it in some way. This point you see. We put it right here, and then you put it in another in another place. There you go. After Effects is going to animate it for you. So let's watch it. Watch it again, it was pretty slow around it. Well, there you go. We made our first animation. But when you see, when you observe it a little bit, you're going to see that it's a little bit boring. You see, just kind of slowly, you are going to speed it up. Just move this point or this keyframe onto the first point. It's going to make it faster. All right, split up. Again. Well, now it's fast, but it's um kind of boring. It just uh, just moves and just stops sadly. Whatever you're going to do right now is go to the first point right here, right click, keyframe assistant, and go to easy ease. Easy ease is well, basically how easy ease works. It's just like it comes in the first time comes speedily and then it slows down you're gonna see the example you see it just comes in a smooth way you can't it's not boring well I'm gonna show you how it works in the graph editor so let's go to this keyframe right here click on it you see when you um, click in keyframe assistant and then you go ahead to easy ease gonna see this strange shape changing on the keyframe whatever let's go ahead to the graph editor you can see that it comes just speedily and it just slows down yeah all right all right all right okay um what am i gonna do it's just hard to you can even edit it yeah how is that going well, right click keyframe velocity, then just increase the influence. Let's make that multi persons. Alright, let's go ahead to the first keyframe and that keyframe velocity and make the speed any high number you want. Anyone, I'm gonna make it for example 5000. Yeah, you can see the difference right now. It's not that boring. You see, it's super cool. Just comes in speedily, and it slows down. It's really great. Now, what we're going to do is making it just make. The half up, which the half down, 
it's gonna be a cool effect but it needs just some some work on it you are going to use photoshop for that um i'm sorry for that but i'm not gonna show you how to do that with photoshop because that's really a short a very short tutorial whatever you're going to do is you introduce to photoshop and you move this half from the order and you save it as png and then you do the inverse and save it as png as well as well so what you're going to do right now is open it up the half down and the half app that we used photoshop to move the half from the other the other one well let's drag the two png files into the composition all right so you know what are we going to do right now let's just go to these two hold shift and click on the second it's gonna select the both then click on t that's going to enable the opacity well just make sure you make the opacity low lower so you can see the logo in the other side well you have two options right now the first option is to make this small logo bigger uh, as much as that one here and the second option is the inverse well I'm going to do the inverse all right let's go ahead to choose to hide the opacity then do the same hold the point alt plus shift make it a little bit uh, let's go to title lock to save make it in the middle wasn't in the middle anyway the one there but whatever let's hide it and hold this point make sure it just uh, disappears when you put it on the oil okay let's go back that's pretty hard let's zoom in a little bit um uh you know what guys I messed it up I had to select the boat so let's go ahead and select them together We can do that. We can do it. Uh, let's make it again. All right. That is super cool. Now we can uh, press T again. Make the opacity 100%. So we don't have to worry about control plus. Go. see it again now let's just I'm sorry I don't know what's happening to my computer I don't know let's zoom off here we go now we don't want him the first we just run in the second place so you're going to move this and it gets in its place. You know what? Let's just move this arrow down and place this right in the K frame. Right over the K frame. Then select this both and place them right in the cursor. So you can see them clearly. 
Now, nothing is bothering you. Now you can do what you want. So let's hide the fd.png. Um, stern is off. We can just select it. Let's make the path bigger a little bit, and let's move this to the left a little bit, so we can select the limit of it. It's not gonna be bothering us while making this. If you want more um, detailed limits, you just zoom in using that one, that one here. That path is can be nervous. Well, like that, you can just move it frame by frame. It's super cool. Alright. You see? Frame by frame. Good. That's super cool and super detailed. Precision. So, what are you going to do now is taking the half of the upper side um, up and the half of the down side down let's just I don't know how to say that but let's just let's do it uh, it's gonna be just the same I'm um, changing the position so that's the half down now what I'm going to do is move this arrow down and Let's just keyframe it. Uh, position. And then move it a little bit. Or. Alright. Frames. Um, and then. Let's do it. We're going to move this down. See, it's moving smoothly, but it's very, very boring. You have to use the easy ease in every keyframing video. So now we are going to do the same to the other half. We're going to move it up. Um, position. Well, let's just um, check the other one. Let's get the arrow and put the cursor in this frame. And then create another keyframing or just move it in this in this frame in this second or I don't know how to call it this moment let's just move it up move it up a little bit more all right let's watch it it's kind of not in the right not in the right place It's not in the right place. Yep. Up a little bit. Still not in the right place. Just adjust it until it gets in its place. Okay, that looks cool. Well, let's watch it again. It's gonna be a little bit slow, that's normal. All After Effects of this world, don't worry about it. Okay, and it suddenly stops. Uh, I hate it when it's really becomes so slow. You don't even have a good RAM. You just let's just see it by the course, okay? That's cool. Now what are you going to do is make the same thing, keyframe assistant and easy ease. Sure, guys, F9. You can click on F9 by the way. 
Well, while I'm making the troll, I have to show you step by step. I can't just press F9 and say it's easy. It's just turns to an order shape, sadly, in a magic way. Ho ho ho. Alright, let's play it again. And again. See? It's so smooth. Well, you can adjust the velocity, keyframe velocity. The first, you have to increase the influence. And at the end, let's increase the speed. Let's make it 8,000. Use your imagination, dude. You gotta use your imagination. In making numbers and after effects. Well, um, it's like you hit 8000 speed. Have to do the same for the order half. Let's make an easy ease for this keyframe also. Keyframe system, easy ease. Keyframe system, keyframe velocity, influence 90 or 88%. Let's make them the same so they're going to look so epic. Is it use keyframe velocity? Um, eight thousand. You know what? I'm going to just make a ramp review, so I'm gonna stop the video, guys. Sorry for that. So, here you go. It's cool. What I'm going to do now is moving these halves up until they disappear. Okay, let's uh, just change the position. It's going to be great. Alright. Um, position here. Let's move it up. And up. Up. And down also. In the same moment, let's move it down. Uh, make sure you click in Control plus six on your keyboard to zoom off, or Control plus I don't know what you call it. Okay. Uh, I always miss up between After Effects and Adobe Photoshop by clicking Control plus zero. Whatever, let's zoom in again. Let's play our cool animation. You see? It's super cool. So please make sure you subscribe to AD Boom channel. I became his partner recently. That's parent partner completely, but I'm still working in my channel. Well, I'm working in some illustrations, but I just love animation a lot. So make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you check this. Also, it's really great. Oh, my channel is great. Thank you myself for that. Ciao. Goodbye. See you next tutorial.